Hello, I'm Zach Sikowski, and welcome to another edition of Adventure Quest. We're here in St. Louis, Missouri, at an iconic place called the St. Louis City Museum. If you check out what's going on here, you will be able to see all kinds of things that you can just climb around and have a good time playing in. It's for adults and it's for kids alike. So we're going to go explore this monstrous fun factory of uh, enjoyment and entertainment. So right behind me you can see some of the structures and everybody who watches this channel knows I'm a castle fanatic and first you see this amazing castle tower that's outside with a bridge connecting to some of the other fun structures. You got one big airplane up there and another one attached to climbable sort of uh, I guess you could say spirals. There's staircases. Um, iron works and um, it's really amazing here you're gonna go inside first to purchase your tickets and if you think the outside is cool this place I'm gonna tell you what the inside is just as fantastic and amazing so I'm in the bottom floor of the St. Louis City Museum and uh, my four-year-old's going nuts and there she is up there climbing through a hole uh, I've been climbing all over this place and it is tough when you're tall, you know. But just to give you a taste here, here's some of the kind of caverns and caves you can find here. And you're dealing with complete darkness sometimes. But it's so exciting because there's all kinds of little small caves that you can travel around if you're so brave. Um, it's pretty amazing. And uh, this place is so huge, you kind of almost can't even believe what you're dealing with. Uh, there's a roof and an outside, and there's uh, several floors, and uh, there's mosaics all over, and animals, statues. It's awesome. There's so much beautiful stuff to see here. There's actual real fish here. There's my wife, she bought the t-shirt, been there, bought the shirt. And all the adornments are just amazing here. We have real fish and everything's made like an aquatic aquarium. And uh, these are all pieces that were part of St. Louis at one time. Um, and it was sculpted and there's mosaic pieces and different kind of things like this elephant are placed in here. Um, wood carved steps. So you can see like, you can really get lost here and uh, you just rely on the faith that Lord God, please give me my kid back because there's a lot of places to go, including this deep, dark pole that will lead you either to the bottom floor or somewhere else to the dungeon or this will make you go all the way up. So you can't just pigeonhole the St. Louis City Museum because if you like history, there's quite a lot of beautiful architectural structures that were from different parts of St. Louis and Missouri that you can find everywhere adorned all over the walls of this great place here. It's very cool, very unique, and very interesting all the way around. And you see faces, amazing gargoyles, and heads of all sorts. Kind of cool. So for a breath of fresh air, you can step up to the rooftop at the St. Louis City Museum. And uh, this attraction I have not seen before except from the street level. So this is an awesome experience, especially on a day like this. You have basically one bus suspended off the side of the building that you can climb on and a Ferris wheel that you can go on and several other attractions. And you pay a little more for it, but you know what? It's just totally worth it. And then of course the view of St. Louis is pretty amazing from up here too. So it's just like the ski slopes here at the City Museum at the top. You got a little rope that would like get you up to the bunny hill, except you gotta carry yourself. At the top you see that praying mantis, that's a separate slide, but it's such a cool deal here. So fun and nice. Kids are sliding, adults are sliding, and everyone's having a good old time. All right, going up there and sliding down here. It's gonna be on top of the world, as they say. And uh, it's quite 
cool and interesting way to climb. So Rose and I made it on the top of the world here in St. Louis, St. Louis City Museum. We got a great bird's eye view, a praying mantis up here. And we're gonna slide down that slide. And this is awesome on a beautiful day. Several years ago, I went to the St. Louis City Museum. They were just building this amazing, kind of like Renaissance mural here. And it wasn't finished, but now it is finished. And it is so cool. This is the nursing room over here. And you got your medieval guards in the gates. There's a Renaissance festival going up the way. And lo and behold, you have an indoor castle experience from mural to actual tower concrete and of course slides and all the stuff that is known for here the St. Louis City Museum. One of my favorite sculptures and paintings of all time is St. George and the Dragon, uh, an orthodox depiction of St. George killing the devil and they got one of the best representations I've ever seen here made of old concrete probably from downtown St. Louis and it's so cool and in the same room you can see some beautiful posters old posters from different movies it's quite amazing now there's several ways to go at the St. Louis City Museum to get to the cave this is my favorite new one right here this octopus bridge that is in the aquarium and so when you walk down here you get quite the adventure here with these beautiful lights down here and you feel like you're in a cave and you've entered a new dimension where you're able to climb around again and this time work your way and meander around a real maze that can take you to the top of this amazing place so check this out everybody if you behold the giant slide area that goes up multiple floors it's just beautiful amazing and colorful and adventurous so i've been running inside and i've been running outside all day and uh, it's time for a nice little break because it's a little cooler here in the evening and I'm strolling around here in one of my, actually two of my favorite parts, the castle tower and this old church building. Um, definitely big pieces. They probably took a lot of crane power and manpower to come here. Um, there's twists and turns. You can go up through the cages or you can simply stroll. We got a dragon here as well. Kind of beautiful. And we have a maiden as well. And there's quite a few different angles that are really worth seeing here when you come here. And this is one of my favorite ones. It just kind of brings you back to where you kind of started at the parking lot. All the way kind of round robin, if you will. And uh, it has been a beautiful day. Once again, I'm Zach Sikowski. This is Adventure Quest. Thanks for watching the show. I feel blessed to be here and I'm glad to enjoy another day of adventure here. So check out the channel and please subscribe. We'll see you again next time on Adventure Quest.